Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can avoid white fringing when doing a sky replacement, particularly when it comes to vegetation. Okay, so I have two different examples here inside of 3ds Max to show you what the problem is and how you can solve it. So when you have your render, generally you'll have a HDRI or your V-Ray Sky or your uh, Corona Sky in the background. And when you save it, it will be saved with an alpha channel. So we'll just come over here to this layer, click OK, and we've got our alpha channel and we're going to just uh, control click on that and we're going to create a mask for that. And now if we put our sky replacement in the background, just like that, you will notice that we get these fringing effects that we do not really want. And most people will say, ah, Daniel, you know what? You can just use the Photoshop defringe tool. Okay, well, why don't we just apply this mask and test that out? So we're going to go to layer matting and we're going to click defringe. And you know what? That does help a little bit, but actually it still looks pretty rubbish and that's not looking very good whereas on the other hand what you can do and i'm going to show you how to do it in 3ds max and this is your general render and what you can do is instead of rendering it with the v-ray sky or the corona sky or your hdri you can actually render it with direct visibility override so you're going to come down to here and you're going to check this mark over here and then that's going to render the image with a black background so you can see a comparison over here and what that's going to do is that's going to essentially remove any of that fringing and if you have any lens effects it's also going to remove that so if we render this out in black, we save that with an alpha channel, we bring it into Photoshop and we try to do the same procedure that we did before. So we're going to just come to here, go to channels, click on an alpha channel and apply a mask to that. And now we are going to take this sky replacement and drop it in the background. once we drop that in our background and we'll just apply this layer mask you can see that the difference is almost day and night so if we just drop this down you can see that that difference is day and night so if you wanted to use the defringe tool on this to remove that tiny tiny dark edge you could try that layer matting defringe and that's looking much better if you compare the two it's just uh, day and night so if you are going to be re replacing your sky i would suggest doing it on a black background because it works much better all right, that's it for today, guys. If that did help you, I'd appreciate if you subscribed and I'll see you in the next lesson.